So we back with another video. Today we got y'all boys with the NBA team tier list. Now, today, we be doing this. NBA season is right around the corner. We got a lot of stuff to get into. Reactions, we got to finish off the NBA player tier list videos. Just make sure to like the video, subscribe if you've been enjoying all these stuff and you want more to come. But today we're gonna be doing the teams. We're gonna be ranking every single one. And we're gonna be putting them in the right tiers. Y'all do one more, make sure to like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff out the way. So they do. Your boy fits. Let's hop into it. Hopping into it. So we got the tiers. Legit contender, elite teams, first round fodder, which is pretty much a team that's just gonna make the first round, but they're gonna get put out first round. Play in tournament, lottery, all in for Cooper flag let's hop into it so we got the lakers first this is a very good one to go first um the lakers in my opinion i don't really know what they did to change this offseason they're gonna be they're gonna be a team that's gonna be very analytical based um i'm here to tell you guys if you're a lakers fan and you can you want to know what jj reddick finna do y'all finna be a very analytical team y'all gonna be a team that get up a lot more threes y'all gonna be a team that they're players that I think he's going to just really more so focus on getting players to like spots on the floor that they really succeed at. So I think that's going to be very interesting. Are they going to be a good defensive team? I don't think so. I don't think they just, I just don't think they're a good defensive team outside of Anthony Davis. To be honest. Um, I think LeBron being the second best defender and he's the guy that kind of doesn't really want to play every possession defensively. He's not a guy that kind of wants to be every game defender. That's going to really be a thing that's going to hold them back as a team defensively. Because when LeBron locks in, he's good. It's just, he's, 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 bro, he's been in the league since 2003. He's not going to play every game. He's not going to play every single possession. It's just what it is. It's been like that for years. It's not smart to really expect that. Now, um, I think offensively, y'all could be better than what, than usual. The only thing I say is, I just don't think y'all have the shooters for what y'all gonna try to do. I think y'all gonna be a team that's gonna put up a lot of threes. I think y'all gonna be a team that put up a lot of things. Is LeBron and AD gonna put up a lot of threes? That's gonna be the thing that really sells me. If LeBron and AD are gonna be kind of like on a more so, they're gonna get threes up, but like they're gonna be more so going for their shot diet where they're gonna be in the mid range, killing around the rim. That's gonna be a lot more understood. But if they're gonna be, a, they're gonna make them shoot more threes, then I'm kind of probably out. So I don't think the Lakers is one of those elite teams. For now, I'm gonna put them first round fodder, but we're gonna see what else is in first round fodder. And if that's the case, I'm gonna raise them. I'm gonna raise them. The Utah Jazz. Utah Jazz, I'm gonna say lottery. That West is too stacked. I don't think they're even gonna make the play in. That West is just too stacked. So, yeah, and I think they, they're they going to be a team that should go for Cooper Flag. I think that they've been kind of dwelling around that lottery. That's a, if you look at their best player, that's a guy that they would kind of want. I'm not going to lie. That would kind of fit they, what they want. So, yeah, I would say Danny Ainge, yeah, lottery. They may be all in. They should be all in for Cooper Flag, but I don't think they will. I think they're going to be a, a team that's going to be around to play in. Pretty much all year until that trade deadline. They're going to trade off a couple pieces. And then they're going to go all in for Cooper Flag. So I'm going to say lottery. I'm going to go right in between. The Clippers. Clippers are going to be a playing team. I think that's, a, that's just a stamp playing team. Um, I'm not believing in uh, the Harden Kawhi duo to lead this team. They lost Russell Westbrook. I don't think that's a pretty big deal, to be honest. But they also did lose Paul George. I don't think that's as big of a deal as people are acting like, but. Yeah. Now, only thing I would say that they can take as a positive away from this, they didn't really play that much with Paul George. And that's all I can really say. Um, but they still got Kawhi, who they really don't play that much with. So we'll see. Um, but I'm going to say playing. The Suns. I think the Suns are going to be a better team this year. I think uh, Mike Budenholzer, always been a really good regular season coach i think this is going to be a much better regular season team i think this is a team that could shoot for that one seed will they get the one seed i wouldn't expect it i think there's another team that's going to go for that one seed but i'm gonna actually say the suns i think they're going to be better defensively i think they actually have playmakers now now are those players actually good nba players no 
Not yet, at least, especially for Ryan Dunn, because I think that's the defender I'm more so leaning on, saying that that's a real defender that they got in the draft. I think that's a big-time pickup for them because they needed defenders kind of bad. But with that being said, I'm going to actually have to say Suns. I'm going to put them up by the Lakers. I'm going to put them up by the Lakers. Warriors, playing tournament. Man, that West, hey, this West is going to be tough. Warriors might be lottery. Warriors genuinely might be lottery. I'm not going to lie. The Warriors might be lottery. I like a lot of the pickups that they made. Some of them actually say they play in. But they might be lottery, to be honest. If Jerry Buck can have as good of a season as he had last year, cool. But I'm not going to lie. I didn't like how people don't want to say this, but Steph Curry regressed last year. He regressed. Um, he wasn't good in the Olympics until the last two games. I'm not really liking it. Curry cannot have like a nine game stretch where he's only good two games on this team. That cannot happen. Um, I do think Kaminga is going to take a jump, but yeah, I do like the pickups. I think the Anthony Melton is actually going to be a better, he's going to be a better clay. He's going to be the closest thing that they've had to the clay that they had back when clay was clay since post injury. So yeah. And I think Moses Moody should get more minutes. He's the guy that could take a jump, but will they give him minutes? The world may never know. Interesting, though. I'm going to say play in. The Grizzlies. This is a tough team. This is a team I'm very high on, but at the same time, they're already very injured. I, John just got hurt in preseason. Um, Jaron Jackson expected to miss at least three more weeks. Kind of tough. Now, Jaron Jackson should be back, but I don't really like it. They're, that's an injury-prone team already getting injured. I'm going to say first round fighter, and I'm going to put him behind the Lakers and Suns, but the injuries is very concerning. Spurs, Spurs is a candidate to take a jump, but I'm going to say lottery, but Wimby alone. I believe in Wimby a lot, so Wimby alone, that could be a team to take a jump. Um, I would say the, the Mavericks is one of those elite teams. I would say they're one of those elite teams. Um, I don't think they got drastically better. I will say... Tim Hardaway shots going to Clay. I think that's just going to be better. But I also do think Clay is going to be able to take a lot of wide open shots. I think the real issue with Clay on the Warriors, he was miss he would miss open shots, but he would take very bad shots a lot. I don't think that's going to happen as much on the on the Mavericks. To be honest, I just don't think that. I think he's going to get a lot more wide open looks, and I think that's going to be very big time for him and that team. Now the thing is defensively, a lineup of Kyrie, Luca, and Clay. Now, I don't think Kyrie is a bad defender, so he could guard the guards. It's going to be who is Luke and Clay going to guard. I don't think Clay's effort is the problem. I just don't think he's a great defender since the injury. So, yeah, if Clay can kind of be a solid defender, that's going to be a very interesting team. But, yeah, I must say elite. Mavericks is a team that could definitely knock off some of these contenders if they just get the right matchups like they did last year when they played the Timberwolves um, in a conference finals. They could make another finals. Now, if they play the, one of these teams that's coming up, or either one of these two teams coming up, they're losing this year. Um, the Nuggets. Nuggets being a legit contender is kind of tough this year because they did lose KCP. But I'm going to still put them there because they're the best player on the earth. Jamal Murray has looked pretty bad in the playoffs last year, the Olympics this year. But I'm interested to see what they're going to look like this year without KCP. I'm going to still put them as a legit contender because they, they are a team that did win a championship just a year ago. They are a team that does have the best player in the world. And for the most part, they still have their core four guys. They still got some guys coming up in the ranks with Peyton Watson, um, Strader, and Christian Braun that they can kind of work in there. And they have Russell Westbrook. And I'm interested to see how they're going to play with him. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say they're going to be a legit contender. Um, my first contender, if I had to say who the favorite was right now today, I would say OKC, especially in the West. I would say OKC. I think OKC is the legit contender of the NBA. Um, that's just me. I think that is the team right now. Now, are they the team to beat? I would say no. Do I think the team to beat is the best team in the league right now? I would say no to that as well. But we're going to get to that when we get there. Um, the Thunder, um, I think the pickups of Caruso, I think the pickup of Hardenstein, those are two big deal pickups. Um, I don't think Hardenstein is going to start, but I'm not going to lie. If he's playmaking the way he looked in preseason, it's going to be pretty interesting. 
it is preseason though, so I'm not weighing too highly on that either way. Pelicans. Pelicans pick up DeJounte Murray. They did lose a couple guys, but I do think DeJounte Murray, if he can go back to playing a role where he's just really more so playing a defensive playmaker, but also adding the shooting ability that he did gain with the Hawks, I think that's going to be a pretty big deal. I think that's a pretty big pickup, but he's not been a good defender since he's been with the Hawks. So that would be my concern. But they don't really need him to be this crazy defender. I'm not going to lie. They have nothing but defenders on this team. They did lose Najee Marshall. I do think that's a pretty big deal. That was another big pickup that the, the Bavers got that I kind of did gloss over. I think that's a pretty huge deal. That may be the best perimeter defender they have on their team now. But I'm going to say the Pelicans. It all comes down to is Zion going to be healthy? I'm going to put them right there with the Grizzlies. Because I do think the Grizzlies kind of have more of a kind of understood team. I think the, the Pelicans have a big kind of question mark at that center position. But, yeah, I'm going to put them in first-round fodder. Sacramento Kings. Sacramento Kings did pick up DeMar DeRozan. We already have eight teams in the playoffs, by the way. So, somebody got to get bumped down because I'm seeing another team that has to make the playoffs in the West. So, yeah, we're going to have to actually bump down the Warriors. Actually, we're bumping down the Clippers. And we're going to bump down the Pelicans. We're going to actually bump down them. Then we're going to bump down the Warriors. I'm not going to lie. I don't got the Kings over the Pelicans, even with DeMar DeRozan. So, we're going to put them in the lottery, too. I'm not going to lie. I don't got them in there. I, I just don't have them doing that. I don't have them doing that. So, yeah. Um, the Rockets. The Rockets is a team that could take that jump and get into that play-in over one of these teams if they're injured. So I'm going to actually say, I would honestly expect more of a jump from the Rockets to be able to make the playoffs more so than the Kings. Me personally. But I do think the Kings is going to be a team that's going to get more wins than they should because they're going to be so clutch. So I'm actually going to say, I'm actually going to say this. And I'm going to put them right in between. I'm going to say that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. And then we have the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves, man. Ain't going to lie. Utah Jazz is going to be all in. Bro, I'm looking at this West. This West is crazy. Bro, every team in the West is good. Every team in the West could literally be good. Now, this West is actually crazy. This West is crazy. Every team in this West is genuinely good. Now, that's crazy. Um, the Timberwolves is an elite team. I will put them above the Mavericks. I just don't think they match up well against the Mavericks. Personally. Me personally. I just don't think they match up well against the Mavericks. Me personally. But yeah, I think this is the play-in tournament. I think these are the lottery teams. Honestly, I, th I think the... Think I'm gonna actually rank this the opposite way. Everything else is gonna be ranked like if you're back, if you're closer to the tier, that means you're higher. But this I'm gonna rank it opposite because the closer you are to this makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Uh all right, let's get into the east. A legit contender, the 76ers. Nick Nurse is the coach. They picked up Paul George. I think he fits pretty well with the two stars that they already have. I'm going to say, yeah, that's a legit contender. I think that's a legit contender, honestly. I don't think that's just an elite team. I think the Caleb Martin pickup is a pretty big deal. Kelly Oubre and OMB been talking about they've been kind of working together to kind of get the chemistry down, kind of similar to what Aaron Gordon and Jokic is going to do. Is that going to happen? No, because neither one of them is Jokic. Kind of simple as that. But the gravity that MB does have, Alpha scoring, it's kind of not hard to kind of replicate it. So I think it could happen. But, yeah. Um, the Bucks. Bucks is a weird team because they're still going to have defensive issues. They did try to make up for it with DeLon Wright, Gary Trent. But I don't think it's going to be enough. They should be better defensively this year, though. But, again, I don't think it's going to be enough. Hold on, let me look this up. Do they still have Doc Rivers as they coach? Because I want to put them as a legit contender, but if they still got Doc Rivers, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I can do it. 
Doc Rivers is literally still their coach. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm putting them in elite teams, and I'm putting them behind the, the Mavericks. I'm putting them even behind the Mavericks. I can't do it, bro. I'm not going to lie. I can't do it. I'm going to actually say the 76ers are better than the Nuggets this year, though. I think the 76ers are better than the Nuggets. The Celtics, I think the Celtics are the team to beat, honestly. But I don't think they're better than the Thunder. I honestly don't know if they would beat the Nuggets, but they're better than the 76ers. So I'm going to say they have a better team than both of those, but I don't know if they match up well for the, with the Nuggets. Especially, bro, any team that can, bro, the Celtics is a, a bad matchup because any team that can get a cl game close with them, they have a chance of beating them every single time. Now, I think that you can say that for pretty much a lot of teams, but I'm not going to lie. The Celtics is a weird team because they're kind of just, they'll give you games in the clutch. They're just not a really good clutch team. In my opinion, I think that their, their play style is just not very reliable for clutch games. Just is what it is, in my opinion. Now, I think that their defense is reliable. Their offense is just not. So, yeah. I think people look at the Porzingis trade as a big deal. I think the Drew Holiday trade was the bigger deal. I think having the duel of Drew Holiday and Derek White to go against pretty much any backcourt is just ridiculous. Like, this is the team that's going to kill small guards. It's just it what it is. Let's keep moving. The Pacers. Um, I would say the Pacers is first round fodder, personally. I think that's first round fodder. All in for Cooper Flag. I think the Nets is the team to beat to get Cooper Flag, honestly. Yeah, I think that's the team to beat to get Cooper Flag, honestly. Um, the Cavs. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen a lot of people gassing up the Cavs. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really seeing it too much with the Cavs. I think the Cavs is I'm thinking about it. You got the 76ers. You got the Celtics. You got the, yeah, I'm going to have to say first-round fodder. They're first-round fodder. Um, um, the Hawks, they're probably going to make a play-in. They're probably going to make a play-in. Should they make the play-in is the question. The Knicks. See, the trades that they made, they made trades to be contenders, but are they contenders? I don't think they're better than the Timberwolves. I don't. I don't think they're better than the Timberwolves. Honestly. The Timberwolves might be contenders, though. I'm not going to lie. The Timberwolves actually might be contenders. So, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm putting the Knicks up there. I think like, the, the Timberwolves might genuinely just be legit contenders. I'm going to put the 76. I'm going to put the Suns in elite teams. I'm going to put them up there. Yeah, I think that's more accurate. Yeah. Um, Orlando Magic is first-round fodder. I think they're going to have a good year this year, but I think they're first-round fodder. I just think their offense is just not reliable enough to, like, even try to argue this one. I don't. I think it could get better this year. Um, The Hornets... I don't know why you just said that about the, the Hornets being at the Warriors level. I don't really even know what to tell you, bro. Like, bro, you got to think about it, bro. It's only 10 teams can make the play-in. You got the Celtics, the 76ers, the Knicks, the Bucks, the Cavs, the Pacers, the Magic. Y'all are not better than any of those teams. Now, you could be in debates with the Hawks. Not mad at it. But I'm, I'm, I'm leaning on putting the Hawks in lottery myself. So, keep that in mind. Um... I'm actually, no. Um, and I don't think the Hornets are better than the Warriors. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why you said that. I don't think the Hornets are better than the Warriors. I think they have a better duo than the Warriors, but I don't think they're better. I'm not going to lie. I think the Warriors just have more depth than y'all, personally. But y'all got some players. I'll give you that. Um, Hornets. LaMelo, B. Miller, I think they're going to be a really, like, a real duo this year. Um, it's going to end up kind of trying to figure out how good Miles Bridges is going to be. How good is Mark Williams going to be? Actually, I think Mark Williams is the guy that's going to be back within a couple weeks. And I think Jaron Jackson may be out all the way to like December. So, yeah, I may have got that part wrong. But, yeah, they're going to get Mark Williams back. I don't really believe in Mark Williams too much because he's just an injury-prone guy at this point. I don't really know what else to say there. Um um, I'm interested to see what that Celtics coach is going to do with them, though. Um, I'm not really expecting too much out of their pick. He looked like he can just shoot and stick defense. 
I guess he's gonna be a good role player for Lamelo and B Miller, Ricky year. Um, they don't. I don't really like the what they got at big if, with Mark Williams, especially if he's hurt. I think they should be all in for Flag. I don't really see why they wouldn't. Like Cooper Flag at the four with B Miller, Lamelo. Those are two lengthy guys for their position. That's very versatile. Like, matchup nightmares for their position. So, I really think that that's a team that should go for them, but they won't. I don't think that they'll be better than the Spurs, to be honest, either. I think the Spurs will be better than them. I think they should go all in for flag. Personally. Will they do it? Probably not. That's what I think they should do. Okay, this is the team that's going to be the worst team in the West. The Trailblazers. I don't know why it didn't show that earlier, but yeah. Denny probably is their best player. Denny could genuinely be their best player. Yeah. The Heat. The Miami Feet. Um, in the regular season, I don't trust the Heat as much as some of these teams. But in the playoffs, I trust the Heat more than the Bucks and down. So I would say playoffs, they're here. Outside the playoffs, they're like here. So we're going to put them in between. So, how many spots is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's me being a Heat fan trying to be unbiased. So, we're going to start here. One, two, three, four. We're going to put them here. I'm going to put that top of first round fodder. I'm going to put them first round fodder. Um, it's going to be very weird because they could be a better regular season team than people expect because Jimmy kind of has to play for real in the regular season. The coasting is not going to work. And he has to actually, like, play. Like, he's not going to be able to, like, coast and be injured. He's going to have to not get injured and not coast. So I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm actually confused on how that's going to go, to be honest. Um, Hero, he got to stay healthy. He didn't say he was going to stay healthy, so I'm not going to lie. Um, I think he's going to be Bam's best year, though, regardless. I think Jovic is going to take a jump. I think uh, Jaime is going to take a jump. Anything that happens outside of that, not really expecting too much. Jimmy supposedly is supposed to be motivated, but it's going to be hard for him to play harder and not miss games. So what I think is going to happen is, I think he's going to coast and just not miss games. I think he's just not going to be as injured. But how do you stop yourself from being injured? I don't know. So, yeah. The Bulls. Yeah, the Bulls are not going to be good. If I'm the Bulls, I'm going all in. But... Yeah, I'm not going to lie. The Hornets not going to be better than the Jazz either. I'm not even going to lie. They're genuinely not going to be better than the Jazz. I don't know what you're tripping on, but they're not. Um, okay, some of these teams genuinely got to go back up here. Yeah. Because some of these teams are just not in the same level. They're just not going to be the same level bad. Like, all these teams are not the same level. I'm bringing them back down. Um, the Raptors. I think the Raptors are going to be a play-in. How many teams we got in the East? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got nine. This is going to be ten. Okay, so you could really have an argument between these three teams, man. I'm not going to lie. For the play-in. I'm going to be honest. Whichever team, one of these teams, just say, forget it, bro. Why would I want to make the play-in? When I can go for a Cooper flag, whichever one of these teams actually go and do that and be smart, they'll be the geniuses that actually come out of this a lot better because this is a, a loaded draft. They should be genuinely, genuinely, they should genuinely come into this season. If they have a bad start to the season, they should be trying to get Cooper flag. Simple as that. It shouldn't be difficult to understand, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to leave it at. I, I I think the Raptors are gonna be better than the, this the, the either one of these two teams though. Um, the Wizards the Wizards I don't think they're gonna be the worst team. I think they're gonna be here. I think they're gonna be there. I think Star is gonna be better than what people think because of what happened. I think I think Star is gonna be. I don't have y'all second to last. There's literally the Nets. There's literally the Wizards. There's literally the Bulls. There's literally the Trailblazers. All these teams right here are going to be better, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what you own. Like, 
only way that this team is worse is if they tank. And they should. The Spurs are generally going to be better. I don't know what to tell you on that one. Um, if they're not better, okay, it's going to probably be close between y'all and them. If it's not, it's because of the East is terrible compared to the West. The West is stacked, gang. I don't know what to tell you. There's literally only one bad team in the West. And this team literally is nowhere near as bad as the Nets, the Wizards, and the Pistons. Um, I'm going to actually put them here. And then I'm going to go... I'm going to go here for the Pistons. I think that's what it's going to look like more so for than anything. Um, if I were to put the, these two teams up there, I would probably have to put them playing tournament. And I will probably put them Warriors there. I will probably put Clippers like here. That's how I would honestly rank that if I were to do that. Um, and those are my, all my legit contenders. The Knicks, the Nuggets, the Timberwolves, the 76ers. Three on both sides. It's three on both sides. Like, so it's stacked in the it's stacked in the in the West. But the East is very top heavy. Like, cause even that fourth team in the East, you could argue that fourth team in the East is better than any other team in the West. But when it comes to that, those two first rounder team, first round fodder teams, I'm not gonna lie. I think the I think the Kings is first round fodder. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm putting I'm putting, no, 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 you're playing. I'm putting, I'm putting this like this. I'm putting this like this. Yeah, I'm putting this like that. Yeah, I'm putting that like that. I, that makes more sense to me. Yeah, I'm going to rank it more so on what tier the team actually is. More so on what team, tier the team actually is. The Suns may got to come down with the Cavs. Because to be real, like, the Cavs play any of these top four teams they're losing. Like, they're going to have to play one of those four teams in the first round. That first, that's first round fodder, even if I'm doing it like that. And they're not elite. And I would put the, I would put the, now I can put the Heat and the, and the Lakers above them. Because I think that, that's, that's a real, that's a reality. That's a real reality. Yeah, I'm going to put them over them too. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put the Grizzlies, I'm going to put the Cavs actually... I was kind of capping on them a little bit. I'll put the Pacers above the Cavs, personally. I think the Pacers are going to be pretty good with a full year with Siakam. The Hawks and the Hornets is a tough one because I think the Hawks, this is probably the best defensive unit they put around Trey, but they I think that they are going to tank more so. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to just, I'm going to just go ahead and put them down here. And I think they're going to actually be worse than the Jazz and the Spurs. And that's what I'm going to lock it at. I think I, I don't know. I don't know. That's why. That's what I'm feeling right now. It could change. It could change. Um, but for the most part, the legit contenders is the teams that you really gotta worry about. Um, you really could argue that Knicks fans gonna be mad at that one, but you could argue that one. I'm not gonna lie. I think that one you could argue. But for the most part, I think that this is more so what I would go with. I would put the Knicks up there because I do really do like. Bro, Mikael Bridges, OG, and Anobi. That's going to be like Derek White and Drew Holiday, man. I don't know what to tell you. That's going to be really tough to go against. That's going to be very tough to go against. And then they're going to have Josh Hart at the four. It's going to be tough. Now, Jalen Bronson, Towns, that's not scaring a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, in terms of defense. But that's going to be the scoring punch that they're going to have. Um, so I really, I really like the way that Knicks team is built, and we know – Tibbs is going to play that first five a lot of minutes. So I really think that they should trade a lot of their depth. So that's the only reason I kind of get the DiVincenzo trade because they're not going to play a lot of their, their guys off the bench anyway. So, yeah. If I was them, I would have traded Miles McBride before DiVincenzo. But I'm guessing the Timberwolves rather DiVincenzo than Miles McBride. But it also came out that DiVincenzo was actually asking to be traded because of the role it was looking like he was going to have. But for the most part, that's my legit contenders, my elite teams, my first round fighters, my playing tournament, my lottery, and my all in for Cooper Flag. Now, should some of these lottery teams, should some of these playing teams be all in for Cooper Flag? I'm not gonna lie. Some of them playing teams, scary they get Cooper Flag. The Rockets get Cooper Flag. Scary. The Rappers get Cooper Flag. Scary. The Hornets get Cooper Flag. Scary. The Spurs get. 
Oh my goodness, if the Spurs get Cooper, Flag, and Wimby. Like, bro. Now, I'm not going to lie. There's some other crazy good pick players in this draft. So do not sleep on none of these guys. There's a lot of really good players. These next two drafts, honestly, are really, really good. But yeah, I think it's really going to be tough. Really going to be tough. I think the Hawks will be a nice team for Cooper Flag. I think the Bulls, honestly, going to be all in for Cooper Flag. So I'm going to put them actually down there. I think the Jazz, the Jazz actually should be down there too. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. Y'all do one more. Like the video. Subscribe. All that good stuff out the way. Without further ado, man, hope y'all did appreciate it. Hope y'all did enjoy it. I know a lot of y'all, y'all teams are on here. Y'all not going to like it, but this is my opinion. Yeah, that's going to be it. Put in the comment down below what you guys think I had too low, what you guys think I had too high, who you all think is going to be the worst team in the league this year. Put down below who you guys think is going to be the best team in the league this year. That's going to be it. Like the video, subscribe. All that good stuff out the way. Further ado, man, it's your boy Fitz. I'm out doing, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! Hang on. After looking at the rosters, I'm not going to lie. If there's any team I'm underrating on this tier list, it's 100% the Bulls. I'm going to actually raise them. I'm going to put them. I'm going to put them right here. I'm going to bring these boys back up here. I'm going to bring them boys back up there. Because the Bulls, Bulls, very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, let me make sure I put that.